I quit. I'm done. You might already know that I've been following the carnivore diet for the last six months. At the same time, I've also been doing intermittent fasting, and I have experienced some dramatic results. 33 pounds weight loss in total. And in this video, I'm going to explain why I quit today. In fact, as soon as I finish recording this video, I'm going to eat a lot. I'm going to tell you exactly why I quit right now. But first, do me a massive favor and smash the like button and also consider subscribing. It really helps me to grow the channel and be another voice out there promoting the carnivore diet. Thank you very much. So let's get to it. Why am I quitting? Here's the thing. For the last approximately six months, I've been doing the carnivore diet and I've also been eating only once a day which means that each day I'm fasting for about 23 hours. And it has worked really well for me, but I wanted to take it up a notch. So I decided to do a 48-hour fast to take advantage of processes like autophagy and to give my body a prolonged boost of human growth hormone. And in this video, I wanted to share my experience with you, both good and bad, and let you know why I'm quitting prolonged fasting, at least for now. So here are a couple of quick updates from me yesterday on my second day of this fast. Good morning. It's about 27 hours since I last ate. I'm trying to do my first 48 hour fast because uh, I want to see what effect it has on my body. And um, at the moment, I'm feeling good, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be drinking a lot more coffee today than I would usually drink. And uh, well, we'll see. So I'll check in during the day and let you know how I'm going. Yesterday, I had um, more to eat for breakfast than usual. Um, and I had so much to eat that I got to a point where I, I felt literally stuffed and almost couldn't eat anymore. Um, I did uh, wolf it down though, so it, it was probably close to um, you know 900 grams of ground beef, 10 eggs, and some cheese. And um, as I say, I'm feeling good now. But uh, if that continues, that uh, that remains to be seen at this stage. So I'll check in throughout the day and let you know how I'm going. Okay, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, so that makes it about, uh, how long? 30 or 33 hours or so since I last ate. Um, I was feeling a little bit hungry about an hour ago. Um, my stomach was actually starting to make some noises, but uh, that, uh, that hunger seems to have subsided and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I think probably about seven or eight o'clock tonight, I'm gonna start to feel really hungry. But um, for the moment, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. So um, I think I can do the 48 hours. And uh, I'm, but I'm definitely looking forward to having breakfast tomorrow morning. Hey guys, so I'm on my way home for the day. I've got about 11 or 12 hours before I uh, eat my, uh, my first meal after this 48 hour fast. Feeling okay at the moment. Of course, I could definitely eat something, but I'm not feeling hungry. I'm still feeling, you know, satiated. So, um, you know, actually the experience of fasting so far has been pretty good got to wait to see how I feel you know in the next few hours but with only about 11 hours to go I'm feeling pretty good so um... shortly after that last clip when I got home last night I had about nine hours left of my fast and the strangest thing happened I have never felt as not hungry as I did at that point and honestly I still feel that way of course I'm going to be happy to eat but I'm sitting here right now feeling strangely not hungry. So that's the first thing that I think is a point of note. The other things I've noticed, especially towards the end of this fast, are insomnia. I went to bed at 11.30 last night. I was wide awake at 2.15 this morning. And I've been up and working since 3 a.m. It's now 6, which brings me on to the next point, energy. I have never had as much energy and focus as I do right now. 
And I feel super awake. So considering I've had less than three hours of sleep, it seems very strange. The next thing is feeling cold. My body has never felt as cold as it did for the second 24 hours of this 48 hour fast. And honestly, the feeling of cold was part of why I had insomnia, I think. It at least contributed to it somewhat. The final thing that I noticed that was different when I woke up this morning was modified taste. Now at this stage, all I've had is black coffee, but that was the weirdest tasting coffee I've ever had. It still did the job, but I didn't enjoy the taste as much as I usually do. Again, the strangest feeling, I think, is that feeling of super energized, super focused and feeling super awake. The only thing that I could think that's even a similar feeling is when I had my first can of alcohol when I was 15 years old. I had this guilty feeling, but I'd never felt so high. And I'm not sure if that's actually the right description because 15 years old was a long time ago. Anyway, the point is, I feel good, but it's quite disconcerting. And as a result, especially because of the insomnia, I'll be quitting intermittent fasting for any period longer than 23 hours for the foreseeable future. How about you? What's your experience with fasting? I'd love to hear your experience in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to click like and subscribe, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.